Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today I have a planting video for you. I bought myself some wonderful jumbo bamboos and some beautiful white flowering rhododendrons that I'm going to be planting here in this area of our garden at Crystal Cottage called Yorkim's Corner and at the moment it's full of these bushes that are always just completely brown and boring for the winter. I want to get those out of here. I want this whole area to be winter green, all year round green. So I'm planting plants or I'm replacing those bushes and planting with plants that stay green. So when we look out of our windows from Crystal Cottage, we have this beautiful green color all the way around and it's all gonna grow up to about three meters high and make it feel like it's summer all year round when we look outside our windows. And it's going to look beautiful with the green when there's a thick layer of white snow on the ground like we get every year. So basically, I just need to get on with this. I'm going to be pulling all, cutting down and pulling out the roots of all that brown bush behind me there, working the ground and then planting these plants. Simple, right? Yeah, but hard work. But I'm just gonna get to it. So just before I start with everything, I'm just going to show you the two plants that I'm talking about that I'm going to be working with today. This is a Fagesia Mariele Jumbo Bamboo. And I have five plants that I'm going to be planting out here and I just can't wait to do that. I got these in the winter sales. Um, one pot is usually five, 600 kroners and I got it for 100 kroner a pot and I'm so happy about that. And then here I have a Cunningham's White Rhododendron Hybrid that gets beautiful big white flowers all over. And I have three bushes of this, they're very tall. They can get three meters high as well as the jumbo bamboos. So this is going to be a beautiful addition to this garden. So now I've just been and collected all my gardening gear. Now I'm ready to go in and start chopping down that bush and getting rid of that out of the way so I can see what I have of space. They're really long, all these bits and pieces. This is gonna take some time to get all this sorted out. So I'm gonna queue fast forward. It's actually coming out quite easy at the moment. But of course, I'm saying that just before the hard stuff starts, trying to get up all the roots. That is going to be a hard job. Now look at that already. Just taking these down, you can see through to the green behind the lovely Thuya Brabant and the other rhododendrons I have in the distance behind there. So you can see this is just going to be beautiful with time without all this brown getting in the way. This pile is getting pretty big now, so I think I need to go and empty my wheelbarrow and come and start again. More. I have an awful lot here that needs to be burnt off. I'm loving how it's getting greener and greener here before I even start planting. Ah, oh, this is like so good for your energy. Ah, oh, later I'm gonna feel so calm and relaxed because I'll be tired in a good way. Time for another emptying of this wheelbarrow. So that's the third round of stems that I need to now go and get rid of, and then I can start trying to take some of the roots up. This is going to be a big job. So now that I've cleared the stalks out of the way so I can see the area I have to work with, I'm gonna get in and get these roots up and figure out where I want all these plants to be. So I just need to get on with it because this is gonna make me sweat. Oh. 
but they're coming up. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is hard. Ooh. Oh, wow. I am just sweating. A wheelbarrow full of roots already and lots more to go. As you can see, these roots are never ending. But I'm not going to be able to get everything out, but this is going to significantly reduce them and give my rhododendron uh, a good chance to take over the area and shade what's left out. Oh, wow, look at this piece. That was really hard to get out. Huge long roots, and I am so tired. <laughs> Ooh, I feel fresh though, I feel good. Even here at the front, still huge roots. So there we have it. I have a lot of the big roots up now, a whole big wheelbarrow full. I'm going to go and empty this and rake around the soil a little bit, and then I'm ready to plant these plants out. And the next season, when any of those roots start coming up, I'll just keep going around and clipping those down right to the bottom until the other plants grow big enough to crowd them out and then they will disappear by themselves anyway. So now I'm finished raking just to flatten it out a little bit. Now I can go and put all my plants in in those spots where I want to plant them so I can get to see how it's going to look and then redesign if I don't like the first design arrangement. I do love this part. <laughs> Now I'm thinking I might put them in a line behind the Ilax Mesovea blueprints holly that I planted um, before, which you can see in another video on its own. So I'll have rhododendron at the front, a viburnum there that's wintergreen, then I have the holly bushes that are wintergreen, then I'll have a layer, and the first rhododendrons are all dark purple, and then I'll have all these rhododendrons here that have white flowers, and then just for some fun, I might put all of the bamboo behind just to give a little brush off over there and finish that corner off. But then I'm also thinking these bushes are going to get quite big and maybe those three are enough in there on their own. And then I can use the bamboo somewhere else. But now I don't know. I want a thick bush of rhododendrons I've decided here. So I'm going to plant these three uh, rhododendrons here and then maybe next year I can plant three more behind of the same color or a different color. I don't mind mixing, I want it to look like a wild garden. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get planting.
And that's the first one in, as quick and easy as that. Now don't worry about me just putting it straight into the soil like this, all these rhododendrons needing rhododendron soil and all that. No, you only need that if you put it in a pot or if you're somewhere where there isn't rich soil that is full of leaf and foliage because these plants like acidic soil. I have so many leaves around, this soil is full of goodness and I've planted all my other rhododendrons in here without any special soil whatsoever and they have done fantastically. So I'm doing the same with these. All I'm going to do is put a thick layer of fallen leaves around them and that will give them all the goodness that they need and the protection around their roots for this first winter season. So that's my three rhododendrons planted. Now I'm just going to collect some leaves to put around the bottom of them and they are all done. So here you can see in my driveway, I have a lot of leaves. So I'm just gonna gather some of those. I need to tidy up here. So this is a perfect combination of tidying up the driveways and using the leaves to protect my new rhododendrons. Now this is the best rhododendron soil you're gonna get. Just get a little bit more. Perfect. Now they are all happy for the winter, but while I'm at it, I'm just gonna get some leaves and put them around my Ilax Mesovea Blueprints holly bushes. So that's me done with all this for today. My Cunningham white rhododendrons are in place three and I put a lovely extra layer of mulch around in the form of fallen tree leaves. This is going to make such great soil for these plants and I just think they look great in a line like that. So now I'm ready to take you in for a closer look. Well, that's all I have for you today. I just want to say thank you very much for watching Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson, once again. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.